Yo, what's going on guys? Matt here, and today I got another life story video for you guys. I think it's a pretty much interesting one in my opinion, so yeah, let's get right into it. So, this story takes place about two years ago. I was at my job at McDonald's, working a night shift, and the thing is, I wasn't even scheduled to work that night. My boss asked me earlier that morning if I can cover for someone's shift because they got sick, and I was thinking, well, it's a seven-hour shift, I have no plans for the night, and I can earn some extra money. So I'm like, sure, why the hell not? And I don't know why, but whenever I cover someone's shift, which is probably like once a month or once every two months, something weird or just something terribly goes wrong. And this day definitely tops all of them. So my shift was from 1 to 8 p.m. that night. It was about 7.50, and I was at the register that day, taking my last orders for the night. And right before I was able to call the day, this one woman parks her bike right in front of the front door of the restaurant. Even though there's a bike rack, you know, right next to the parking lot in front of the restaurant. So I'm just assuming that she's blind to the point where she can't see it and decides to park her bike right in front of the door, blocking people from walking in and out of the restaurant. So the moment she walks in, I have no doubt she's going to be really complicated. She's limping all weirdly. She has this weird smile and showing the seven teeth she has in her head. And she just looks like she's like completely drugged up and whatever. And... Yeah, she's laughing weirdly, and I'm thinking to myself, well, this is going to be interesting. And as she's looking at the menu, my manager walks over to me at the register and says, oh, it's her. She's going to be complicated. And I'm like, great. And finally, she walks over to the register after taking a long time looking at the menu. And I just greet her normally like I do with every other customer. And I just say, hi, how can I help you today? And she answers in this really weird and old like boomer voice. She's like... Hi, hello there, sweetie pie. And I'm thinking, oh my god, this is really uncomfortable for me. Like, this is one of the most uncomfortable moments I've ever had. Like, why are you talking to me like this? And as she's ordering, she has, like, no damn clue what she's ordering or what the menu items are. She asked me exactly, and yes, I recall everything that she asked me. She's like, uh, what's in a Big Mac? Uh, what's in a Quarter Pounder? Uh, do you have vanilla ice cream? Uh, do you have a, do you have caffeine free diet coke uh are your chicken nuggets breaded and as soon as she finished the, asking the question about the chicken nuggets i smirked a lot because of how ridiculous these questions are i'm like oh my god like what has she been living under a rock for the last 60 years and after all of those questions which took a couple of minutes really weirdly she says i'll take a large coffee with 15 creams 12 sugars i'll have a, and i also have a, a small sweet tea with another three sugars added to it. And I'll have that bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddle thing. And the weird thing about it is that she never asked any of those questions about, you know, like the food or the drinks that she ordered. And then when the order finally popped up on the screen, my manager said, look, just, just make everything quick and, and just get her out of here. And honestly, I don't blame her. I wanted her out just as much as she did. So about a minute later, I hand her the bag with a McGriddle. And then I hand her a drink tray with all her drinks in it. And she immediately said... I need more sugar. Like, can you give me, like, ten more sugar on the side, please? I'm like, oh, my God. So I give her the ten sugars, and I'm like, here you go. Have a great night. And she didn't even respond to me. She just picks up her things and just walks out. And as the door closed, I yelled, yes, finally, let's go. I felt so relieved for some reason. I don't even know why. I clocked out a minute later and walked over to the truck. And as soon as I'm walking over there, I took a quick peek, and I saw the same woman Sitting in the middle of the parking lot, like literally just sitting down on the concrete, eating her food and, and drinking that coffee and the sweet tea that she had. And I was thinking to myself, don't look at her, don't look at her, just, just keep walking. And as soon as I get to the truck, I start the truck up, roll down my windows and start blasting my music like I do after every single shift of mine. And before you know it, the woman gets up and walks over to the parking spot right next to where my truck was parked and yells, hey! And I was like, what? And she yells, your truck is too loud. I was like, what? And I also answered, well, I'm sorry. I can't really control that. And I just said that in the most sarcastic voice ever. And she also yelled, lower your music. You're hurting my ears. And I'm like, okay, I don't, I don't understand how me blasting my music in my own car can really hurt your ears, but you're not even in the car. I don't know. She was just really being really dramatic. And I just said, all right, whatever. And then as I shift from part to reverse, she yells at me, F you, you stupid. And she also yells the N-word at me. And obviously I'm not going to say those words because you know it's offensive. 
And I stopped moving and said, look, woman, don't say that to me. It's very disrespectful and rude. Just move out of the way. And I start backing up, and she's still yelling at me, saying, F you, F you, F you, N word, N word, N word. And as soon as I shifted into drive, I just took my right foot and just smacked the gas pedal. I drove, I drove away so fast because I didn't want to deal with it anymore. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm done. I'm out of here. And yeah, that was, uh, that's my whole story for you. And thankfully, after that, I never saw that woman again, probably because of, you know, drugs. And I don't know. I'm not going to assume anything. So let's just say that. And yeah, anyways, if you guys did like this story and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the post notification bell for more videos. I hope you all have an awesome day. Stay safe, you know, from the pandemic and all that. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Coming down like a copter. Michael Murray on looking like a shotter. Louis Carry on feeling like a ganja. Keep a very long shotty for imposters.